Okay, so we woke up late. Not too late to leave, but later than we wanted to wake up. AKA my mom didn't wake me up and I asked her to wake me up. But um, I'm gonna do half of my makeup. Yeah, I'm gonna do my eyes and then I'll do my face in the car because we have to leave. All right, so literally, oh, got it. Real talk, I am nervous. I, I've literally, I've had a dog before, but he was a rescue dog. So, you know, he didn't really know how to be a, a real dog. Um, so now I'm getting like a real dog that likes actual squeaky toys and like doing dog things. Um, so I'm a little nervous and I know that I have people who can like watch him when I want to go places, but I don't know. I'm just like, I feel like it's like stage fright, like right before I'm getting nervous. So that'll be fun, but it's only a three hour drop, three and a half hour drive down to get him and then back. I had a haircut yesterday and he literally looks like a mini Dalmatian and I'm obsessed. I also just realized that I'm not really gonna be vlogging in the car, so I should probably talk more here. Um, I literally, I got him so many toys from, uh, from TJ Maxx. Um, and I swear that's the go-to place because they're literally like $4. And they're the same thing as that are in like Petco and PetSmart, just way cheaper. So if you have a pet, that's the way to do it. But then I also realized, and I think that a lot of pe pet people know this, but I didn't know this, um, that there's like a 60 day return policy at PetSmart, I don't know about Petco. Um, but if your dog doesn't like it for whatever reason, then um, you can return it. So. You know I already bought a lot and I'm like, oh, you know, I'll go turn it, so. This is the most rushed makeup I've ever done in my life. And I need to leave in five minutes. So also just to show you guys how much I've driven <laughs> um, or how just to show you guys how like big of a trip and a little amount of time this was we literally my mom and I drove um, 12, 13 hours yesterday we left at 4 in the morning 13 hours yesterday from Mass to Michigan and my whole body was cramping up by the end of it. Oh. And my face was really puffy from that drive. But, um, and then today, we were originally supposed to be driving seven hours each way to go get Fenway. And then the breeder was like, oh no, I'll just meet you. I'll meet you like north of Indianapolis. And I'm like, okay, perfect. So that's what's, that's what we're doing now, but so thank goodness she said that. Um, but so what is that like seven hours total today? And then tomorrow we're doing a little Christmas gathering. Um, and then my uncle's bringing his dog so I can start socializing them. <sighs> I'm very excited. And then um, Monday we're driving 13 hours back. Okay. Also, the fact that my cousin is up right now and like ready for me, it's crazy. Oh my gosh, guys, I'm like shaking. I'm so nervous to get him. What if he doesn't like me? Like, oh gosh. What if our personalities don't get along? I just. Our dog horoscopes a thing? I don't know. 
Uh, I forget what he is. He's like a Sagittarius. I don't do my horoscoping, but is that a thing? Okay, now I'm gonna brush my teeth. And then I'm actually going. Puppy pad, and then all his paperwork's in here. Okay. okay. When you get home, he will be ready for his next series of puppy okay. shots okay. or whatever. There's this here. Uh, you're right, Casey. So I went ahead and got you a health uh, thing certificate so he can fly. I don't know if he's okay. flying or no, driving. Drive. Oh, okay. <laughs> well, I was like, well, if you go to the airport, <laughs> and uh, there's his vaccination, and there's his registration. So, okay. And all this. Buddy. Okay. Hey, Casey likes oh, them. Here, here. Oh, okay. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> when do you feed him? Like time? Um, I feed him in the morning. I feed okay. him one time and leave a bowl. But if you're gonna okay. potty train, I'd suggest yeah. like maybe half a cup in the morning, half a cup in the evening. Okay. Um, do you do breakfast? Um, one thing? I don't. Okay. Because controlled feeding, controlled pooping. So mm -hmm. I mean, yep. once you uh, <laughs> start him on that, then it'll be much better. You kind of get a time frame of uh, if you let him out when he poops, <laughs> when he, you know. Yeah. And then I would take it away. I wouldn't let him. I'd Breathe. leave it an hour and take it. Okay. But totally up to you. I mean, I just, I think when potty training phase is there, I think it's always good to have controlled time frames. Okay. And uh, sometimes they're too cute. Yeah. And <laughs> I can't help. <laughs> yeah, and but, then you're just. You know, it's totally up to you. He does like treats. He has a little chew bone. In there. Uh, <laughs> He's peeking out the back. Yeah. So Hi, buddy. Everybody that's taking them home and they, they've been pleased. So I yeah. hope they're pleased. Yeah, yeah over Forgive me. This is just oh, like okay. scams, and that's what we were talking about. I said, I myself have been scammed because I'm a color fanatic and mm -hmm. I want to get them, you know, yeah. and it's like, ah. Oh. So, oh, buddy. Anything long term, though, you have questions, concerns. Mm -hmm. I do training, too, so I'm mean, Okay. Yeah, um, thank you. Oh, that's yeah. a good resource. Okay, thank you. Yeah. yeah. Oh, I can't say I have all the answers, but yeah. I can tell you what to do. <laughs> yeah. yeah. We love meeting the people. Yeah. This is the best part of it. I've been doing So I think he might be going right now. He's going right now. He's going potty. Um, and we also wanted to answer, we also wanted to answer um, the questions that we got on my Instagram story. So um, the first one is, where do I get his toys? Um, I already answered this earlier, but I 
go back and forth between like TJ Maxx, Home Goods, Marshalls. Um, this one, uh, uh, okay. this one is from um, PetSmart. It was their holiday collection, and they had um, it comes in a three pack, and they had different like holiday cookie flavors. Um, so, and I really like PetSmart because you can return it if they don't like it, and he seems to like it, so good. Um, next question, how did I name him? I have had a list of names for babies, boy, girl, um, and a list of names for random things like cars, plants, animals, whatever I wanted it for, to be for. Um, and I wrote down, they're like long lists, but I really liked Fenway and I really liked Boston. But since I was like gonna be living in Boston, I didn't want to be like, oh, my dog's name is Boston in Boston. Like I, I felt like that was weird. Um, and nothing else really stuck out on the list for him specifically. Like I kept looking at different, um, at my different name, like different other names on the list for him. And they just didn't really fit. And I really liked the nicknames. I call him Fanny, Fief, um, Fens. There's just a lot of nicknames. Um, so that's how I came up with that. Uh, did I adopt him or get him from a breeder? Um, I, I got him from a breeder, unfortunately. Yeah. Um, I, my last dog was from a, I have this like bump right here and it itches, but it's not a pimple. I don't know what it is. Um, I got him from a breeder. What was I saying? My last dog was from a adoption agency. We got him, we found him on Pet Finder. Um, and we really liked him. He was a puppy male rescue dog. So, um, we got him at about a year old, but Fenway, I really wanted a puppy. Somewhat taking that back now, but, um, but yeah, so he was from a breeder. I really, really looked, um, on Pet Finder and a bunch of different adoption agencies. I think like PetSmart has their own adoption, um, PetSmart Charities or Petco Charities or one. Um, I really looked every single day and I couldn't find one that, um, that their situation suited me and I you know I didn't go into the breeder thing blindly I really did do my research in finding a good breeder and I did my research um, in interviewing a lot of different breeders and I actually expanded my search across the whole United States so I didn't want to really narrow it down um, just to New England because I didn't you know what if nobody in New England is a good breeder and I just like crossed off a couple people because they're a three-hour drive or something so um I expanded my search and I interviewed them I wrote down all my questions and I really liked the breeder that I got him from um the breeder is actually also a dog trainer so um I really liked that and she breeds a couple different dogs so that they are all socialized together and they don't get food aggressive because um they're like bred at around the same time so then she also had um french bulldogs and english bulldogs when he was there so um they ate at the same time didn't get food aggressive and um he was socialized so um overall a good experience if you do go through if you do go through a breeder i would say uh, make sure to do your own research figure out uh what location works best for you figure out um how big you want your dog to be so ask how big the parents are um and yeah and really just like just feel the vibe out with the breeder sometimes the you can just feel the vibe immediately so um how did i pick him i didn't really pick him actually um i actually reached out to the breeder before they were even born i found her on the akc website and i told her that i was looking for a multicolored boy um american cocker spaniel and she sent me pictures of the mom and dad um the mom was black with um brown like tan colored eyebrows the dad was brown and white uh like mostly white with brown spots so she had originally sent me a video of the mom pregnant because I was like texting her like, oh, how's mom doing and stuff like that. Uh, and then he was born and he was the only boy. He had five sisters and he was the only boy and he came out like this, which is like literally exactly what I envisioned in my head. Um, 
the only other one that came out like this was one girl that the breeder ended up keeping to breed for future uh but all the other ones looked like their mom they were black with the tan eyebrows so i just got so so lucky with him literally my dream dog personality wise and look wise he's been amazing um what is his favorite color his favorite color is green he actually uh was called green collar when he was with her he, she put different collars on them immediately the little soft collars so they could get used to um what a collar felt like um and so he was green collar and i immediately knew like once i was calling him fenway that green was his color and I, I truly just think that green looks best with his coloring but that's just me the harness came with him or else i would have gotten a green one um and then <laughs> some a couple people said is he excited to meet me um, he's excited to meet everyone and anyone, so whoever wants to come visit, you're more than welcome. So, that is all of our questions. Right, fans? Mm. Right, Phoebes? He's busy with this bone. Alright, well, if anybody has any other questions, let us know in the comments. Um, thank you for coming on this journey with us. All right, bye guys, stay safe.